welcome Pisces Rose Burnett here and this is your singles love reading for June 2023 it is a general reading so please trust yourself not resonates leave what does not big welcome to those that are new to my channel those that follow me regularly you're rocking awesome love your support and if you enjoy my videos make sure to subscribe to my channel hit that notification bell so my videos come through to you in your feed there is a competition running again this month so if you want to go into the draw to win the beautiful enchanted map oracle by uh call it baron read all you need to do is subscribe to my channel put a comment down below that you want to win this deck you'll go into the draw uh, there's also a personal reading up for grabs 45 minute pre-recorded personal reading with me uh, i'll be looking for a very positive community member for those of you that have been following me for a while and let me know in the comments down below that you want to win that personal reading and you'll go into the draw i will not exclude anybody that's new to my channel now the winners for may have been drawn so i will link that video in here uh, go and check it out to see if you are a winner i'll also put the winners down below in the description box so good luck peace all right let's dive in and uh, I will just say that you can get all of my uh, free astrology readings, my inspirational videos in both audio and video on my Spotify podcast if you want to listen wherever you go. All right, Pisces, let's pull you some uh, messages from the beautiful Romance Angel Oracle. Oh, you got uh, your love life's being affected by children. So either your children or the person that you're connecting with. Oh, you got forgiving and learning here. As you release and heal from the past, you experience more love in the present moment. So some of you getting over something that uh, hasn't worked out in the past, still working through that process, still clearing your energy from it. Oh, and you got separation, yeah, time apart from your partners on the horizon. So some of you definitely split up with somebody recently. Within the last three to four months, yeah. Wow. You've also got true love here love of a lifetime so some of you have separated from a true love it can also mean that it's time to release the past because you've got a true love coming in towards you which is very good news oh, and you've got the message to give your relationship a chance and work on that partnership um, even if there's issues around children spirit saying it's sitting directly under that so putting the effort in Mm. and you've got divine timing happening in your love life so those of you where you're completely single there's no one in your life no one you're connecting with and you're releasing stuff from uh you know a connection that hasn't worked out uh you know there's some divine timing going on for you in terms of you doing that healing work and attracting uh, your next soulmate to you wow more confirmation you've got a soulmate here some of you separated from a soulmate mm -hmm. definitely You've definitely got a soulmate there's you know there's two messages coming through here some of you have separated from a true love soulmate and others you're drawing one to you wow you've also got engagement on the card so there could be a bit of a reconciliation for some of you sitting directly under true love all right let's put you some clarifiers with the angel answers oracle Oh, wow. you got the message there's something better so and it's coming in the near future spirit saying so if you've gone through a connection where there's been big issues with children whether it's your children or your partner's children it feels like it's kind of the other person yeah it's really giving you a headache and it's disrupted the whole thing spirit saying there is something better coming in also relates to those of you where you've separated from someone yeah again sitting right over it um worth waiting for you got perfect timing happening so those completely single you are drawing a beautiful soulmate partner to you but there's divine timing going on yeah and spirit saying just to remain positive because you are going to have success you are going to have this beautiful committed partnership coming in towards you all right singles let's have a look at your energy what is it singles pisces needs to know right now Oh, wistfully, wistfully yearning for more but don't know where to start. So where to connect with a soulmate, where to connect with the type of partner that you're looking for. Mm. Some of you are actively dating and trying to find the one. So putting yourself out there. And my smile hides the fact that I'm lonely would love a partner. Oh, big hugs, darling, big hugs. All right, let's have a look and see who's coming towards you in terms of new love.
If you don't know, I'm a Pisces as well. Oh, I feel so good when I'm with you. So there is going to be this very good energetic vibe between you. Oh, and watch this. You've got a juggler, charmer. Yeah, here, gone. Um, here, gone, back again. So watch the energies of people that you're dealing with and, and you really need to take your time, Pisces, to find out what their intentions are, what they're actually looking for. It could have been, the, yeah, it was fun, but I didn't feel a deep connection. So some of you have connected with someone that you've recently, it didn't work out, and they weren't really looking for the same thing as you. Mm. Burned by love in the past. Yeah, I want a relationship, but we'll never fully commit. So there might have been a good connection, or you felt there was a good connection, but this person's never going to commit to somebody. They've got a lot of deep emotional wounds going on there. Uh, let's get to the heart of the matter. Firstly for you, singles, Pisces, you need to know. Uh, it wasn't you. I was just looking for something different. So trying to not take it personally if you've been rejected by someone or you've rejected someone. And you need to trust yourself more, your intuition. So Scroop saying, watch the red flags, how you're feeling about people. And they're not open to building with you, separate finances and assets. So I've got to say, Pisces, <laughs> pretty lucky that the door closed on that one. Let's have a look at what's going on here in terms of this energy. Oh, unresolved issues of power creating resentment. So perhaps this person has a few power struggles in terms of their energy. Yeah, they like to be in control all the time. And push people away when they feel emotionally vulnerable. And my heart has been broken so many times I find it difficult to be open and trust. So that person has got a lot going on there, my love. So if that message resonated with you, um, they don't have great energy overall. So they would have come in with this energy, yeah. All right, let's have a look at relationship influences. Firstly, for you, Pisces. Mm, some of you are in recovery. So it can be emotional recovery. It can be physical healing going on. And feeling a little bit insecure. So if you're on the receiving end of that kind of energy, well, it might have dented you a little bit. Yeah, you need to boost yourself up a bit. And there's some emotional healing that needs to happen. Coming through quite strongly. All right, let's have a look at this energy here. I've got to say, your true love energy has not come out here. So if you thought this was a true love, it definitely wasn't, Pisces. It does not. Oh, my God, you've pulled perfect timing three times. Three times. Mm -hmm. Oh, there's a third party here. So they had their options open, my loves. You weren't the only one in the picture. Mm -hmm. And they've got some health issues. Or a focus on their health. All right, let's have a look at love attributes. So what's important to you or them in a love connection, your love language? Firstly, you Pisces. Oh, you're very caring. So you're very generous with your time, your heart, your space. Appearances are important. So how you look, how they look. Uh, is there chemistry, attraction? And you're a hopeless romantic. So you may expect the best in people, get disappointed when they don't really show up in the best way. All right, let's have a look at this energy here. Oh, they're a free spirit. So they like their freedom, their independence. Nothing wrong with that. And trust is a big issue or important to them. It's interesting that they find it hard to trust other people and they enjoy their solitude. So... Possibly a little bit of a loner. Uh, all right, let's pull you a message from the Lovers Oracle. Firstly, for you, Pisces. So basically what's coming through here is some of you have definitely recently released someone from your life. They didn't have great energy, to be honest. A lot of uh, emotional wounds that haven't been healed. Oh, darlings, you've got this one, which is a tree. It's got lots of signs and synchronicities, symbols on it. It says, you're currently manifesting miracles, my love. Your dream is soon to become a reality. Trust your heart and continue to follow its guidance. So those of you seeking a true love soulmate, it is coming and you are manifesting it, no matter how disappointing this connection was. 
And in terms of this person, isn't this interesting? There's a sacred union here. Honour and treasure your relationship for it's truly sacred. So they never actually really saw the connection that was there. They got so many things going on with their energy that they didn't really see that this was a sacred bond. Interesting, isn't it, my loves? Uh-huh. Let's have a look at the energy going on. Firstly, for you, Pisces, the energy oracle. Oh, darlings, you got cornucopia coming in. So your miracle is you're manifesting amazing blessings in your life, uh, which can certainly represent love, abundance, prosperity, happiness, joy, good health. Dare I say a little karmic justice there, my loves. Yeah, and you've got woman holding her heart, so your heart's still open. Keep your heart open, spirit saying. Number 44, you've got 11 and 44, both angelic numbers. 11 is brand new beginnings. 44 is angels speaking directly to you. Keep your heart open. Don't close it off. Um, guys, this can also represent a love interest. No bias on my channel, no matter what gender you are. Yeah, and you got the temple pass. So your angels, your spirit guides are absolutely watching over you right now. All right, let's have a look at this person's energy here. Where, to be honest, it looks like they just didn't have the openness to even see this opportunity. They've got the daughter's spirit opening as well. So they've also got spirit looking over them. So they really need to do a lot of healing, this person, emotional healing. Yeah, and they've also got, there's a big focus on their root chakra here, their finances. So, I mean, there was a mention that they didn't want to, you know, build with you, separate finances and assets. Oh, look, and there was a caring connection here. So there certainly was chemistry. There was, uh, there was certainly a connection there. All right, let's put some guidance from the uh, Crystal Healing deck. Firstly, for you, Pisces. Oh, Spirit's saying to trust your ancient wisdom, particularly your intuition on what feels right for you. Been here many, many past lives, darling. You've got your inner child here. So you can certainly feeling this can be relating to this feeling of self-love, self-worth. You need to boost yourself up. Yeah. And to keep your dreams alive, you've got the Herkimer and Diamond. Yeah. All right, let's have a look at this person's energy here. Oh, they need to ground their energy, so they're a bit emotionally unbalanced right now. Yep, and they've got the shadow side playing out. <laughs> they need to face their shadow side. And there's things that they need to let go of that they're still holding on to, kind of blue from the past. On the bottom of the deck, there's the message that there's peace if they did that work, yeah. Peace within. Let's pull your message from the Whispers of Love Oracle. Firstly, you, Pisces. And I will just say, if you feel like you need extra guidance and support, uh, specifically attuned to your own energy and questions you want to ask, my personal readings are open. I'll put a link on here and down below. Oh, you've got the message to ask for help, my loves. Be willing to uh, accept help, what you really need. So whether it's from the universe, whether it's from friendships, feels like you need a little bit of support around you right now, Pisces, yeah? All right, let's have a look at this person's energy here. Oh, they've got the message that there is love all around them. There is love everywhere all the time. Simply acknowledge this as the truth. They're not feeling very loved at this time. Um, they also need to boost themselves up. All right, let's pull your soulmate message. Firstly, you Pisces. Oh, I'm so grateful for you, my love. You give so freely without condition. Life is an endless flow of blessings because of your great love. So you were very open in this connection, Pisces. So don't beat yourself up about that, my loves. You were very open. Let's have a look at this person. What's their message? Oh, they've got the message to surround yourself with nature and you'll feel a greater sense of well-being. Nature's healing energy is essential and magical. It will awaken the sensual magic within you. So they absolutely need to ground their energy. Mm-hmm. Yeah. All right, my loves, those are your messages. Love to hear your feedback, your comments down below on how it resonated with you. Let me know what prizes you want to win this month. Take it easy. And for now, much love, much light. Namaste.